Hey everybody, welcome back to the creepy smoky logo tutorial where we just went over how to make your background in part one and this is part two so we are going to learn how to create like your text and your smoke. So we already have the background and our vignette we can lock those so they don't get messed with anymore. Let's create our text here so we can make it called the new Boston and pull that into the center and I'll pull my character panel down here so you can see what we got the text is TW CEN MT condense extra bold now I mean why couldn't they make a font name that wasn't like the most confusing thing ever I don't know but I like this font so I'm gonna use it twirl this back up so we have that there in approximately the center I'm gonna move the anchor point using the pan behind tool to around the middle doesn't have to be perfect I'm just gonna scale up this a little bit that's good now if I would have scaled when it was down, the anchor point was down here, it would have scaled from here and probably went off the screen. So now that we have our um, our title here, we're going to want to add some smoke in it. So if you can look here, you can see within the letters, there is a, a smoke trail going in between. You can see how the letters darken and lighten. That's actually because of the smoke. So now we're going to create a new layer and it's going to be a solid <clears throat> and I'm going to name this uh, fractal noise and the color doesn't matter so I'm going to hit OK actually I'm going to make it yeah I'm going to hit OK I'm going to add an effect called fractal noise by typing it in over here. Drag it on top of my solid and we get this. The first thing I want to do here is darken my uh, fractal noise. So I'll move this and I think uh, around negative 40 is what I liked. I mean 40 is what I liked. Well, that's contrast. I don't want that. I want brightness back at negative 40. So now we got it nice and dark. I do want to change the contrast and I want to bring it down a little to about 75. I'm just going to type in 75. Now I already created the logo obviously so I'm using the um, property amounts that I already know that work. So the next thing we want to do is uh, scale this up. So we'll twirl down this transform and we have the scale and we'll transform that up to 375 or scale that up. Now this is going to be a little better looking smoke here. We're getting close. We're going to set this uh, blending mode to none here. And we're going to animate this moving across the screen. So come down to your current timeline and make sure it's at zero. We're going to animate this offset turbulence here by hitting the stopwatch. We're going to click on this crosshair button right here. We're going to start the crosshair here move down to the end of your timeline and then move the crosshair button over here and we'll see what that looks like and as you can see it's just moving across the screen so the next thing we want to edit is the evolution so what I like to do is go to the beginning and make a stopwatch 
So we start keyframing, come down to the end, and I'm going to set the evolution to do one revolution there. Now, as I can, I'll show you what happens here. You can see that it like kind of like grows and moves around and stuff like that. So we're pretty close, but this doesn't exactly look like smoke. So we need to add another effect. And the effect that we're going to add is, is a blur. So we'll come down to uh, blur and sharpen, and then we're going to come to CC vector blur. And this is a common way to make smoke in After Effects. So we're going to use a kind of specific um, settings here. So the type here is going to be direction fading. We're going to change the amount here to 113. And then the angle here to 132. And you can see how it looks. Looks like some smoke. And we don't need to worry about these edges here because we're not going to be using the edges. You can see that they're a little weird looking with like greeny or whatever, but we're not going to be using those, so we don't need to worry about that. So we have our smoke that we made, and now we need to put it on to our new Boston letters here. So what I'm going to do is click on our fractal noise and also click on our text here. And I'm going to put those into a new layer by going to Layer Precompose. And it's pretty much putting it into a new composition, actually. And I want to name this uh, Smoky Title or something like that. Move all attributes into the new composition and hit OK. And that created a new comp in here where we can animate the properties of both of the, uh, of both the title and the um, text so that we can don't have to keep animating both of them and everything like that and adding effects to both of them. So I'll conclude this part of the tutorial. We learned how to make our smoke, basically, in this part. So in the next part, we'll be putting the smoke into the text, and we'll be pretty much doing that. We'll see how far we get. And about 6 to 10 minutes in, I, I want to switch in between into the next part. So I'll see you guys in the next part.